Now, January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month and help shed light by ending child trafficking through refuge, education, and partnerships. We'd like to welcome Miss Tina Canary. She's the Operation, Operations Manager for New Life Refuge Ministries. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Such Appreciate a pleasure. It. And so first, just tell us, how serious is human trafficking in Texas? Is this an issue that we need to address? This is actually a global epidemic in mm -hmm. every single neighborhood. There is not one neighborhood that is not going to fall prey. Okay. And so tell me exactly what is New Life for? We actually have several uh, opportunities to get the information out. Uh, our primary refuge is for children who have been trafficked uh, so they can heal. And those are children between 11 and 17 years old. Wow. Crazy. Mm -hmm. They're so young. Right, right. And what is the Refuge of Hope campus? The campus actually is a place for the children to go and heal. Okay. Uh, we give them loving house parents, 24-hour uh, awake staff uh, for all the traumas that they have endured. Mm. Uh, we have uh, trust-based relational interventions. We have uh, a lot of different programs that are built to help them recover completely mm -hmm. uh, so that they can move forward uh, and, and enjoy the lives that they were intended. Absolutely, and it's gotta be something really difficult to overcome, um, especially when it, something that happens to you at such a young age, it can influence who you become as an adult if it's Absolutely. not addressed at a young age. And even your demeanor is so relaxing and calm and welcoming, and I'm sure they received that same yes. experience from you. Tell me about the education part of the ministry. How are you educating the community to help prevent this from happening? Absolutely. Um, we actually have a just multi-dimensional, multi-platform approach mm -hmm. to the education. Mm -hmm. um, that is getting out into the communities, offering speakers or trainings. Right. Uh, could be law enforcement, could be nurses, uh, could be your, your community safety patrol. Mm -hmm. um, but we are actually uh, so blessed to be able to push forward uh, using a grant provided by Valero and Energy Foundation. Awesome. So we are now actually outreaching to all of the middle schools and high schools uh, to get into their programs so they can have that information to Great. identify and prevent. Perfect. Human traffic. Yes, right. absolutely. And with that being said, do you have any upcoming projects or outreach in the education part of the ministry coming up? Absolutely. Uh, through that education program, um, we actually have uh, several par parent liaisons and mm -hmm. other um, principals who are very welcoming to our um, information because they want to protect their kids absolutely. too. Absolutely. And we're hoping to create that ripple effect where the schools here locally recognize and, and bring that curriculum or options on board uh, and therefore it will go on and on uh, throughout Texas and the nation hopefully. Amazing and you mentioned companies like Valero coming in I mean it takes money mm -hmm. to fund anything like this especially something that needs awareness you need to promote it you've got to get it all out there get the information yes. out there and it is so important because these kids especially with our phones we're just so channeled in right. and tuned out of life and our surroundings and it's something as simple I saw a video this weekend at the event I was at of a man following a little girl into her home when she was walking home from school and literally went into the entrance of her home yeah. and she knew to fight back, but Lord only knows what his intentions were for her. So it, you need that education for the youth. It's something they don't think about. You're not a teenager like, oh, I hope nobody comes and steals me away today, but it's a right. very serious thing. Absolutely. It so it's great that you're bringing awareness to and, that. And unfortunately, the, the snatch and grab does happen, mm -hmm. but so many times it is a false relationship that the trafficker will identify a, a child or a victim um, and groom them. It may take months, it could mm -hmm. take longer um, to gain their trust and, and then break those bonds. And Absolutely. at that point in time, it is extremely difficult yes. uh, for that child or that person to get help and get out. Exactly, and that really is tying into a lot of the so social media stuff that mm -hmm. I learned. You mentioned grooming. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are, are meeting through these apps where you yes. don't, you can't find your location. There are more chat apps and people are disguising themselves as teenagers. They even get some of their personal information and start threatening them so yes. that if you don't meet me here, if you don't do this or that, then you're gonna pay for it. Right. And those are the circumstances where these children end up in very, very dangerous situations. Absolutely. So I know that this is something our viewers are passionate about maybe for somebody who has time to volunteer to help out in any way, how can they get involved? We have a fantastic website set up. Uh, there are opportunities that are listed. Uh, volunteers can help us with uh, promoting events, mm -hmm. uh, participating with events. They can actually sign on to become a speaker or trainer. Uh, so in their field, so they can continue to put that information out to their sphere. Mm -hmm. um, but we have so many different uh, volunteer opportunities.